I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Erica Campbell and daughter Krista discuss saving yourself before marriage. Actions and the words don't match because all guys can give great words. Great text message. Good morning, beautiful. No, How are you? Like, Have a good you night. Text me. All those. If he didn't mean it, because he's lying. Because he wants to get your attention. That's all. That's all. And he want to touch that. <laughs> Which he never did, so. He didn't, you didn't let no, never, you didn't let none of that. That was never on the table, so that's why it's like I'm No not, squeezes. No, no. We, first of all, first of all, first of all, we, the only time we saw each other was at church. Okay. Now, I'm talking about college. Who have, who have I talked to in college? Uh, that's what I want to know. Nobody. Nobody. That's what we're talking about. That's this is the dilemma. Y'all think she's telling me the truth? Why would I lie? That's right. That's right. Tell me the truth, my sweet girl. That's just my sweet girl. <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know. She's, she's, she's going to get into it. She's going to ask me all the questions exactly how I don't want to hear her ask, ask them. What you mean about having? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Please don't do this right okay, now. okay, okay. Please save it for marriage, please. I just feel. Don't save it for carrots. Carrots. <laughs> but also, okay, is this? I don't know if I should say this. What? <laughs> what? I just. You wouldn't buy a dress without trying it on first, would you? You mean you want a boy to test drive your TT before you get married? Before no. he says no to us, part. <laughs> <laughs> what if we get married and then it's horrible? And what if he then he treat your like a porta potty? He come in and then he leave. He just take a dump and leave, and he gone. Well, obviously there'll be a long level of commitment beforehand, maybe an engagement. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Couple Jesus. Couple months into that engagement. I'm sorry, Jesus. She's changing your rules for cultural reasons. <sighs> Thou, uh, thou shalt not as thou shalt not. You're right. He didn't create a new book and said, except in 2024. I just. Do you trust God? Yes. <laughs> he just said, I just passed out. <laughs> Keisha, me too. But I mean, I don't so think listen, listen, listen. God when it comes to. Oh, absolutely. Baby, God is in all of it. I just feel like that's God like... anoint me. No. Ah. 23 years, baby. Please. She's about to. <laughs> right no, 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 no. But really, when when you are really oh, wow. in, when you are really in tune, like the you'll you'll know. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you know, you'll know. And you have to make sure that you don't move God out of the way because God don't understand this part. He understands everything cre cre mm -hmm. concerning you. He created he created relationship. He created all the things, and he knows the beauty of it. So. When you allow God to lead and guide you and not be led by your hormones or what people are saying or the fear that it might, because it's really fear. What if it's, what if we get married and it's not good? What if we get married and it's not right? I understand yeah. that. I, I get that. But at the same time, it doesn't, then how many test drives are you going to test drive? Well, that's the thing. Po this is, this is post engagement. No, 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 no. Are you married? Did you say, what did you say to the Lord? Lord, I commit myself to you. I give what myself away mean? wasn't about a man. I give myself away so you could use me was not. It was to the Lord. Give myself away. See, mom. people using it for the Best wrong reason. Mom. Fill me up. Ah! Wasn't about a guy. <laughs> 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 you know, Y'all be using these songs for the wrong reasons. The you have to say I do first. You know what I mean? He got to stand before everybody and say, this is who I want, all I want for the rest of my life. All right. Then it could go down. But before then? For you. Listen, <laughs> Erica, please. Y'all want me to lie? You didn't have to sing Fill Me Up. That was unnecessary. That's what I'm saying. That's unnecessary. <laughs> church girls be at church looking at the music go. Uh-uh. <laughs> Mom, please. They do. They do. <laughs> Somebody told me, I seen them, they told me about a meme. <laughs> it said, which girls in the church are the wildest? You know what they said in the, out, in the comments? They said altos. <laughs> I was devastated. I'm an alto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just having real conversations with Krista. We'll talk. 
Real talk about real life. I've been blushing. You just can't see it because I'm a little chocolate. <laughs> no, we can see. It's red. We can see. <laughs> Y'all think I want her to be unprepared? I just want her to at least have this knowledge. So when you have conversations about other things, you don't think there's this part of my life that God does not know or not understand, or I have to go somewhere else to get the conversation. Like if you keep it 100, I know a lot of girls that when they get met, you know, if they grew up church girls and they tell you, don't, 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 don't. Mm -hmm. You never have conversations about your body or your sexuality or how you look or feeling comfortable in your own sexuality and not thinking it's nasty. So you don't talk about it with somebody that is filled with the Holy Ghost, happily married, but also happy fully, right? And so you don't have those conversations. So then who you go to? homegirl or homeboy or you watch or you know what I'm saying or you end up doing these things that you feel like is going to teach you but I'm telling you there's nothing more beautiful than being married and exploring each other right but within the sanctity of we both want this for each other right not yeah. let me blo you know because most of the time if it's pre-marriage you're trying to please them you're right. trying to I need to impress him I need to be better than everybody else you've been with it's always going to be somebody that was a little more that did a little more so it has to be something. So you don't wanna, that's that. Is that why they say wait so that you don't have like all these pre-existing like? And you have to compare. Yes. Comparisons. You have to. You get married, and I love. I, I love this guy. I love this guy. But that so, dude, when so I was seventeen, blew my mind. And that guy, twenty-two. And that guy, you know what I mean. So then yeah. you get married, and then you have to work past getting deliverance from that. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to compare. And you may be new, and you may be developing, and expecting this big thing on your marriage night, and yeah. then. You didn't develop it together, but you have all this comparison. If you don't get delivered from that and you put all those other things in your mind and in your spirit, it just complicates things. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that when people say don't, it's because they're trying to keep you from something. They're trying to protect you from, from how the enemy will things. manipulate the beauty of what I don't God know, I has for you. I Google was telling me and Lay and I about soul ties like when we were first, like when we was like 15, 16. What did Auntie Google say? Cause she just talked about soul ties, but she didn't say anything crazy. So we're still little. But <sighs> yes, we teach. We have healthy conversations. We do. Listen, y'all, she gonna go back to college. I have to make sure that she got some information. Cause when the enemy come knocking on that door, when the boys want to do this, please, they will, Krista. That's what they want to do. Can you? You don't have to. You don't have to show them. They know. Okay. They know. <laughs> Deep smoke, I see. You. Hi. Trying to help, trying to help my oh girl my out. <laughs> no, I want you to really just—I want you to be equipped with the information. Yeah. When it comes, I want something to come back to your mind. Say, I remember this conversation. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? And then be honest. Like I'm not saying that you won't feel it. You will. I'm not saying that you won't want it. You will. But mm -hmm. realize that doing it God's way gets God's results. Does that mean you all have a problem free life and nothing will go wrong? Never, never, never. But mm -hmm. it means that God, I tried my best to honor you. You know what I mean? There's a blessing in obedience. Period. We know that. There is a blessing yeah, in saying. Yeah, about that. Like I want my marriage to be blessed and for. I want your marriage to be blessed. But also, there's, I'm, I'm there's preparing examples. My, I'm preparing my speech for your reception. I think me and Auntie Tina are going to do it together. Uh. <laughs>